In this class, we will discuss about types of mitosis, significance of mitosis, meiosis, and again significance of meiosis. In the last class, we have discussed about mitosis cell division, phases of mitosis cell division. At first, types of cell division. Types of cell division. There are two different types of cell division. Number one is mitosis and number two meiosis. Mitosis is also known as mitotic cell division and meiosis is also known as meiotic cell division. Now, what do you mean by mitosis? Mitosis is the cell division in which one parent cell divides to form two daughter cells. So, from one cell, two daughter cells form, this is known as mitosis. Here, in the parent cell, this one is the parent cell it contains 2n means diploid number of chromosome. Suppose here 2n equals to 46 chromosomes. If we take the example of human being. So, one parent cell divides to form two daughter cells, two daughter cells and here n number of, 2n number of chromosomes again present which are known as diploid and here 2n equals to 46 chromosomes. In human being, it is an example of human being. So, in human being only 46 chromosomes found in each of the cell. So, parent cell which contains 2n means 46 chromosomes now divide to form two daughter cells in which number of chromosomes remain same and therefore it is known as equational division equational division because number of chromosomes are similar to that of the parent cell so you can define mitosis as the division in which one parent cell divides to form two daughter cells. Now, important features of mitosis cell division. Important features. Features of mitosis. A number of features of mitosis cell division, these are number one, occurs in somatic or body cells, number two, number of chromosomes in the daughter cells. are similar to that of their parent cell. Number three here, two diploid daughter cells form at the end of mitosis cell division. But here variations are not caused. Variations are not caused and therefore, the mitosis cell division does not help in survival of an organism as well as it does not help in 
speciation means formation of new species. So, here features of mitosis occurs in somatic or body cells. Number two, number of chromosomes in the daughter cells are similar to that of their parent cell. Number three, do two diploid daughter cells form at the end of mitosis and four, variations are not caused. So, these are the important features of mitosis cell division. Now, we have studied in the last class phases of mitosis. Now, cytokinosis, cytokinesis in plant cell and in animal cell. Because most of the events take place in plant cell as well as in animal cell during uh, mitosis cell division are similar. Very few differences are then and therefore, we will study what are the differences between plant cell and animal cell. So, here number one cytokinesis. In plant cell, cell plate formation takes place, cell plate formation takes place during cytokinesis. Here suppose it is a plant cell, during telophase cell plate formation starts from the center of the cell and it moves towards the periphery and finally, it forms two daughter cells, two daughter cells two daughter cells here So, here two daughter cells are attached with each other, but in animal cell when two daughter cells form in animal cell cleavage formation takes place, cleavage formation or cleavage furrow formation takes place. During this process Here it is one shell and after karyokinesis two nuclei form. Here cleavage formation takes place, it depends towards the center and finally, it helps in formation of two new cells. It helps in formation of two new cells. So, in this way during the process of cytokinesis in plant cell and animal cell cleavage furrow formation takes place in animal cell, but in plant cell cell plate formation takes place. So, these are the first and mo most important difference between animal cell and in plant cell. Now, some more differences during mitosis in animal cell LVH plant cell take place. So, here mitosis in animal cell and mitosis in plant cell. In animal cell centrosome regulates 
cell division but in plant cell as you know centrosome is absent that's why cytoplasmic strand which is also known as microtubules regulate cell division second in animal cell asters form but in plant cell asters are absent as here centrosome or centrioles centrioles are not found number 3 during cytokinesis cytokinesis is brought about by the formation of cleavage furrow whereas in plant cell cytokinesis is brought about brought about by the formation of cell plate so these are the three major differences between mitosis in animal cell and mitosis in plant cell after it during mitosis when two daughter cells form in animal cell then they divide properly and between them uh, tissue fluid is present but in plant cell after mitosis when two daughter cells form they are attached with each other there is no separation proper separation takes place now the significance of mitosis cell division significance of mitosis number 1 it helps in growth and development of the body of an organism so different tissues organs and organ systems are formed after mitosis means the growth in the body of an organism which may be animals and plants is caused due to mitosis cell division suppose in leaf apex or shoot apex root apex etc mitosis cell division takes place now second repairing of injured cells take place due to mitosis number 3 replacement of damaged cells damaged or dead cells because during the process of wearing and tearing a number of cells may be injured as well as after completion of their life span they die so after injury repairing can take place due to mitosis as well as the damaged cells can be replaced by mitosis cell division it may be a mode of reproduction in unicellular organism 
suppose it is an amoeba cell here at first karyokinesis takes place and then they divide to form two daughter cell so here two amoeba forms after cytokinesis and uh, after karyokinesis and cytokinesis and in this way it may be a mode of reproduction a process of reproduction in unicellular organisms not in the multicellular organism so here growth and development of the body repairing of injured cells replacement of damaged or dead cells mode of reproduction these are the significance and number 5 number of chromosomes remain similar or are similar in the daughter cells so these are the important significance or importance of mitosis cell division in the next class we will discuss about meiosis cell division and crossing over as well as the differences between mitosis and meiosis cell division one more important thing if these classes are beneficial to yourself then you must like these videos as well as subscribe my channel so that i will come again with new contents new topics which may be beneficial for yourself also thank you students